Ladies and gentlemen, dear students, welcome to this computer basic series, part four, where we are going to talk about the Paint app, and we are going to see how to capture your screen or how to have a screenshot of your computer. So without much ado, let's dive in. First, let's have an overview of what we are going to see in this in this tutorial. We are going to talk about walk. Through, I'm going to walk you through the Paint app to draw, to crop, to, to resize images, and how, and at the end, we're going to have a project on how to capture your, your screen, or screen, or how to have a, a screenshot. So, look at this diagram. Let's see how we can draw this diagram. Let's go to the five-year paint app. So, we, let's open our paint app. So, let's Let's see what we have here. This is like uh, we can draw a circle. We can draw a rectangle. We can draw a shape like this. And a red, we can draw a rectangle. We can draw a square. Oh, sorry, this is a rectangle, but it's a square. We can draw a square, a, a star. This star, and we can draw this this kind of star too, four sided star. We can um, draw a heart, and now let's do some coloring. So we can choose the the pocket the color. You come here to choose our color. So once we click inside, it's going to color. So now we can also use this brush color here. So here we just click, press and drag, keeping the, pressing the left mouse and dragging. Okay, so we have done something wrong. So we, have, we can go back like this. Okay, so we start again. Maybe we can increase the brush size. And we say we want to choose this blue. So we just click, maintain the click and we are dragging. So now we are brushing something like a brush. Yeah, use a brush. Click and drag. So something like this. Or if you want the whole thing to be colored, you just do like this. Okay. So what else do we need to do? So we have this. Um, for example, we can use um, a straight line. If we need a straight line, we can use a straight line. Uh, we can use a straight line like this. And if we need to erase something, we can use this eraser. We can erase. So what else do we need? So we have, if we need to write, that's a text box. So we can write here, we call this one heart. And that's a text box. So we can, now we can increase the font size of our, of our text. We can change the fonts. Bigger, you can change the color, whatever you want to do with the text, you can do that. And once we have this text, you cannot move it again until you select the text. Okay, so what next do we need to do? Or do we need to know? We can resize. So, for example, we can select this image. There are two types of selection hand free, free from selection for the way we want to. If we use this, means we can come here like this. And do something like this. Freehand and select. Now we can crop or we can uh, cop copy this, and we can paste it. Uh, with copy. Now to paste it, you need to copy. You need to select something. Okay, you need to. Yes. Okay. Good. So to paste, you need to be in this select into this one. So you have pasted it. So what next do we need to show you? Do I need to show you? Um, this is um, it's like okay. This is this is a razor. We have seen a razor before. We have worked with a razor, so we can erase things like this. We have worked with uh, this is like a, a pencil. We want to write something? It's like a pencil. So we can rotate. So if I want to rotate this one, 
I can select this one. I click on rotate, rotate 90 degree to the right. I can rotate 180 degrees, so that's it. So let's draw this house. Let's try to draw something. So I go, to, we can save it, go to a new, they ask us, do we want to save it or not? I don't want to save this dragon, so let's just don't save. Let's try to draw a house. For example, if I want to draw a house, I will start with a rectangle. This is too big, so I go back. I, I reduce the size of the thing. So I go, so I, uh oh. So I need to take a rectangle. So I want something like this, and I want to draw something like this. Okay. This is just this, this is just an initiation of this thing. Don't mind about the quality. So now, uh, what do I do next? Or oh, let's see. Okay. Okay. So we can do something like this. So we are trying to draw a house. This is just an initiation program. So it's not like we are working on quality now. I just want to show you, walk you through this program. So now, good, so we can, I can try to put the windows. I can go, um, okay, let me see, I reduce the size of the brush. So I come here, I, I take this one, I put the windows here. Okay. Okay, this one is too long, so I can do like I can remove this one here. Okay, this is series. So now, what do I need to do is to like draw a door here. Yeah? Let's forget about this door here. Let's do a door. Let's draw a door here. This is our door. So our window, let's color our window. We can use this one. Use we choose the color here. Okay, this is our window. So now this is our roof. We can go for this one. Roof. Okay, this is our roof. Okay. So this is too long. So we say we can do a race here. Okay, so this program is good to start your graphics here, yeah, especially for kids to learn how to use the mouse, to handle the mouse very well. It's very good. So we can learn how to draw. It's a beginner's program for kids, so it's very good. So yeah, now we can, this is, yeah, this is our house. There's not much we can do about it. Uh, we can save it. We can save it on our, we have learned how to save, so we save, where do we save it? Documents. I will say, you know, I give this one my first, or my house. My house. House, okay, I save it, that's it. Okay, we have just to learn how to use it. Walk it through the paint app. So very important, let's, let me show you how to use, um, capture your screen. Most, most, most of the times, we want to capture our screen. And for example, when I want to use, do my PPT, I usually need pictures. Sometimes the pictures are on a PDF like this one, like PDF, and you cannot copy the picture. So I usually use uh, the print, uh, print screen. So the print screen, to print your screen, you, you need this, uh, let me show you. To print your screen, you need this, look for this key, print screen, that's all you need. Just press that key, and your, your screen, your screen will be will be on your clipboard. So, for example, I will just come here and just say, open the page and say, press the print screen. It's, it's now on my 
clip part. So I go, I open my paint, I can go to a new page, and I will cut paste it here. So this is what I have now. So now I can manipulate this image, I can copy, I can crop this image. For example, if I want uh, this all of this image now, I can so I just want this image, I don't want everything. Now I can select that image and crop. Very good. See what I have now? So I can crop this image. I can continue to cropping, to cropping, or I can also resize the image. For example, I go to pixels. I, I maintain the maintain aspect ratio. So I want this image to be bigger or smaller depending on. So I start with the horizontal aspect. So I just give it a length. For example, I can give it to 1080. So you maintain this ratio. I will say, okay, so it's a big image now. See, I've increased the size of the image. So I can also rotate the image. So now that's this is image. I've not reduced it. I'll just zoom it. So the image is too big. This is just zoom. So I can select this image now and copy. I'll select the image. I select this image and copy. So now I can go go to my go to my PPT and paste this image there. So in case I want to use it on my PPT, I can use it like this. Sometimes you or sometimes or uh, if you want to um, if you just want if you just want the active window, for example, you can use this one, this, this two combination. The active window. For example, you want to capture the active window. You don't, you don't want this uh, the bar down here. You don't want to include the bar. So you can press, uh, you can go with uh, out and print screen. So now you have this, something like this. You go to new, don't save, and you paste it here. You discover that there is no task bar here. There is no task bar. Meanwhile, if you do it again, and does the normal, number one you say print screen you go back here you see you paste it press and paste a new don't save you see what you get now so now we get the taskbar the taskbar below here so that's the difference so if you just want the active window you can use this combination of keys alt plus print screen next what if you just want to Save the image in your computer directly. You don't want to copy it in your in your clip art. For example, you use this combination of keys, win and print screen. For example, if you, if uh, let's change this image. For example, if I want this one, okay. So I can just press window and print screen. That's it. It, has tell, it tells me that I've saved it on my. Yeah, so I save it in my computer. So if I go to Pictures, screen, print, uh, if, if, if I go to pictures and inside picture, I go to print screenshot, I'm going to see the image. So one more time to Windows Explorer. Windows Explorer. Okay, go to Windows Explorer. And I look for pictures. Pictures and I look for screenshot. So these are my screenshot. So this, this is the last one I did. This is the last one, so it's already there. So in case you want to do this, things like this, you can do it directly, or you can still copy and just paste directly on your in your PPT if the image is what you want. But normally, I, I usually try to crop the image. I usually crop, crop the image or resize the image. So next, what do we have to do is what do we want? Okay, that's it. And next one is uh, for those people who are using Mac. Okay, for MacBook users, for MacBook users, um, you can capture your screen using this three combination. You can press this command key and shift and three. So this three combination. Okay, this three combination to capture your screen, and the computer will make the sound of a of a computer of a camera shutter. So it's going to paste it directly, save it directly on your computer, on your desktop. This one is. With Mac, you just save it directly on your desktop. Okay, the second aspect is that screen, uh, to capture a part of, if you want to just capture a part of the screen, you have to do this combination. 
and we are going to have uh, now, now is four. You are going to the pointer will turn into a cross hairs. Now you have to drag the cross hairs to create a box in the part of the screen you want to capture. Next, after you do this, you have to go and do uh, press this this uh, combination of keys. After this combination, now you just press press a uh, space bar. So you first press this combination. It will turn into a. Now you have to uh, select where you want to make your screenshot. Then you press this space bar. Then you, yeah, it's going to capture that particular part of the screen. That is for Mac users. So sharing is caring. If, I hope you have learned some valuable material. And if you enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to press the like button and share as well. You may also consider subscribing as well to this channel. I'm Tago Armstrong and you have been watching Tago Media Production. I hope to see you in the next series of tutorials. Bye-bye. See you.